that when we're in phase one, we were expecting to see who's going to be eligible next and then next. And this is what we're seeing. It's kind of a fluid transition of groups as they bring more people into the eligibility list. And that is what we are now seeing starting today. The eligibility list opens up to even more people here in New Jersey, which is good news, especially as more supply continues to come into the area. That supply, meaning Johnson & Johnson vaccine, we know that was brought in here um, in, in recently. In addition to Moderna and Pfizer, that means there is more supply available to help meet the demands of so many people who are ready to get protected. Now, as of yesterday, Governor Murphy said 2.9 million vaccine doses were administered, including both first and second doses. And that number will continue to grow as new groups and New Jersey residents are now eligible. According to Governor Murphy, transportation workers, including bus, taxi, rideshare, and airport employees, along with New Jersey transit workers, are now eligible to receive the vaccine. Also today, public safety workers who are not sworn law enforcement or fire professionals, including probation officers and fire safety inspectors, are eligible. Migrant farm workers, members of tribal communities, and individuals experiencing homelessness and those living in shelters, including domestic violence shelters, can also now be inoculated. In addition, anyone with specific underlying health conditions may put themselves at increased risk for severe illness from the virus, which is why they are also eligible for the vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci is urging Americans to take whatever vaccine is available, and leaders with the New Jersey Department of Health echo the sentiment. We urge ind individuals to take the first vaccine that becomes available to them. We urge you, if you have an appointment, please consider getting vaccinated. So as I was mentioning earlier, we talk about the next phases, what's going to happen next. Already more people are eligible today and beginning on March 29th, the next round of people will be eligible, including frontline essential workers in the restaurant, food processing and distribution industries, grocery personnel, hospitality workers, clergy and postal workers. Now, of course, these lists are very fluid and they can change throughout any process. So just because we're telling you a certain group is eligible now, that may mean in another week or so before the official next phase, more people may be brought into the current phase, which begins today. We're live in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.